Musu is a brand of cordless stick vacuums that I keep seeing around but have yet to test, so I thought I would fix that and I bought all three of their most popular cordless vacuum models and in this video we're going to test them all against each other to see which one is the best. So links in the description and let's get started. So first we have this gray and blue one which is the 618A model number and the white one the 618B and as their model number suggests they are very similar but for a few key differences which we'll get into later. And finally we have the Musu K. K17. This is the upgraded sort of flagship model, which has a slightly higher list price than the other two, but really is basically in the same price range, just a tad more expensive. And that brings us to a key thing to know about Musu cordless vacuums, which is that they're really inexpensive. For example, based on the current prices, you could buy six Musus for one Dyson V11. We first did some power test where we tested suction as well as airflow in different places on the vacuum and in all the power settings. As far as suction, the K17 was the best, with the 618B just behind that. With airflow, which I think is just as important as suction, the 618B had the edge over the K17, with the 618A coming in last. A couple things to note here is that one of the main differences between the gray and white versions is that the white one, the 618B, only has one power setting. Basically, it's in a permanent high power mode, where the other two have both a low and a high power mode, so you can sacrifice a little bit of performance for extra battery life if you wanted to. But in general, I thought that all three Musu cordless vacuums had respectable suction and airflow numbers, higher than some cordless vacuums twice their price, so a little above average for their price range. With battery life, they all have some numbers that Musu publishes for both low and high power, but we also did our own test, at least on high power, and came up with these numbers. From a pure battery to power output standpoint, the white one, the 618B, was the winner, but the K17 outperformed the official numbers on its high power and presumably would do so on its low power as well. Again, these are all respectable battery life numbers for their price range, and they all have a removable and easily replaceable battery, which I also really like. Moving on to their pickup ability. On one hand, they all had very similar gate sizes on the cleaner head, so they did very similar in terms of debris pickup on hard floors and carpet. On carpet, they were able to pick up everything we put down, from fine debris to extra large debris, though there was a bit of coaxing needed with the extra large debris on carpet, but in general, I would say that they were all better than average on carpet. With hard floors, they did about the same again, but this time their limit was Cheerio sized debris. They could pick up one or two Cheerios at a time, but they did start to snowplow with the large amounts that we used. So I would say that they were better than average on carpet and just about average for hard floors. If I had to pick a winner with this aspect, I would say the K17, but it would be close. The K17 really pulled away from the pack though with the next three tests. First, the hair wrap test where we measure out one gram of seven inch hair and see how much gets caught in the brushes. The K17 has a completely different brush design from the other two and it barely got any hair tangles at all while the other two got 50% and even 60% of the hair tangled in their brushes. The next test was the crevice pickup test where the K17 head design proved to be a little better and have a better seal than the others. It was able to get all the debris from the eighth inch and quarter inch crevices in one pass where the 618A and B were not able to get the quarter inch crevices at all. Another area where the K17 won in a big way was with clogs. Both the 618A and B had their intakes get clogged on the pickup test that you saw earlier, which required a little bit of effort to unclog, where the K17 with a different canister design didn't get clogged at all. There were a couple areas where all three didn't do so well, like the filtration tests, where they all failed the five micron fog test and visible fog showed. But no cordless vacuum in this price range could pass this test. You need to spend another two to three hundred dollars if filtration is a major concern for you. And I will link a few cordless vacuums that do pass this test in the description if you're interested. The carpet deep clean test, where we embed exactly 100 grams of sand into medium pile carpet and weigh the bins before and after, they scored between 88 and 90%, with the two 618s doing the best, but not by much. These 90% scores are about average numbers for low to mid-level cordless vacuums, but none of these were much better or worse than one another. They were all very similar in terms of weight, but here again I felt the K17 won. It was the lightest on the forearm, and it seemed to handle the best in terms of its swivel. I also feel like the K17 attachment set was superior to the 618A and 618B. 
So of these three, I think the Musu K17 is the best. It has the best suction, the best pickup, it does the best with hair and on crevices, and it has the most useful attachments. And I don't just think the K17 is good in relationship to these others, I feel like it's a legitimately good cordless vacuum, especially for its price range. So links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars to keep up with all the latest vacuums, robot vacuums, and carpet cleaners, and thanks for watching.